Over the years, fire safety has improved vastly. There's been a great success, of course, in terms of lower fire deaths, fire injuries, firefighter deaths themselves, um, fires themselves, and that's been for a number of reasons. Um, legislation changes, like foam field furnitures and increased number of smoke detectors. But standards have played a huge part in that, in terms of people can recognise standards, use standards, call off standards. So I think they, they, it's, it's a combination of things. When you design a building, or when an architect or anyone else is planning a building, fire safety has a huge impact on the, the entire design, particularly the internal layout, but also the materials of which the building is constructed. And so it, it, it affects not just building design, but everybody that uses a building and the owners and operators as well. Fire safety standards are important because we're in a, a generally deregulated world uh, where it is the occupier owner of the premises or the place that has to comply to ensure they are responsible for the premises. And that's right, that's in line with health and safety legislation. So to all to have some consistency um, and some continuity from owner to owner, occupier to occupier, the consistency of standards play a huge part in in offering that to both the practitioner, whether it's a fire safety engineer or an occupier of a premises or a building owner. 9999 is a part of a suite of standards, uh, the 9999, BS 9990 and 9991. And this one is the fire safety code of practice for the design, management and use of buildings. It is not just a standard for a particular type of technology, it is actually a building standard. It's how you would design fire safety into a building. So it brings together all the different measures that you could use to affect fire safety. BS 9999 contains uh, and offers uh, guidance on new and existing buildings and process guidance on the management of fire safety. Um, through the entire life cycle of the building. BS 9999 is being revised to introduce standards that were not available when it was first published in 2008. Also to make references to water mist, a technology that has been available for a number of years but was not specifically referenced at the time. And in particular to revise the management uh, section which is now reflecting the evolution in thinking in that area. BS 9999 is so important because it aligns with government strategies um, and also government legislation, so the approved document B and also the fire safety order. Given that BS 9999 affects how a building is designed for fire safety and that that has an impact on the entire use of the building, it will affect not just designers but also owners of buildings. Particularly it could be useful if you are changing a building to a different use or extending it. So anyone really that is involved with thinking about how their building will be designed and used needs to have a look at this standard. The impact is all about robust analysis and providing the reader of that standard uh, with a scientific analysis as well. And importantly, in terms of innovation from a government point of view, um, it ensures innovation whilst a building remains safe. The expected publication date of BS 9999 is towards the end of 2016.